All right, now that we're done with that, let's do one last thing to the mouth and then I'll call that part mostly finished, at least until we get to the very fine detail phase. So remember earlier when we used the muscle tool to create this back ridge? We're gonna do something very similar with the inside here. So if I select the main body and I go to my muscle tool with a very high brush strength we can actually create these kind of ridges inside the mouth there we go and then we just need to smooth out these corners here. So let's take our attention away from the mouth for right now. Let's focus back on the back plates. So with these, This isn't quite the level of resolution I want them to be at right now. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to add some ridges in them in order to make their pattern a little bit more interesting. Then we're going to convert them to surface objects and I'm going to show you an interesting tool you can use to make these corners of them really, really sharp, or at least really crisp. So I'm going to go with my build tool and just start sculpting these. I'm going to make, at this stage, I'm still going to leave them as being uh, symmetrical. Okay, so now I'm going to convert those into surface objects, and here's a really nifty tool. I mentioned it earlier, and I also used it a lot in my uh, arid rock tutorial, but the angulator, very, very useful. So the way this works is that you paint over an area of your model that you want to have a very sharp angle, like right there. And then when you hit enter, it'll make that angle particularly sharp. So I'm going to turn on steady stroke for this and maybe narrow my brush size because I want these uh, corners of the bone plates to be very crisp. I'll do the same thing. I'm going to hide my fins for right now because they're kind of in the way. Oh, you got to be careful you don't select too large of an area. We only want this tip right here to be really crisp. Now let's see what we can do with them. I'm going to try resampling them here, see if I can get a little bit more detail for when we do the fine detail pass, which is coming up in just a bit. Going to resample. You can also type in a multiplying factor here. So instead of typing a specific number in your polygon count, I can just type in here 1.5, and it'll give me the estimate of what it will spit out. So I'll hit that. There we go. So it's not quite as many polygons as I would have gotten with a subdivision, but that's because I didn't need that many polygons. And trying to save memory is important.
So one other thing, speaking of the fins, the next thing I'm going to do with them is I'm going to draw some veins on here, just so they don't look quite so flat. So with my build brush, I'm going to change my stroke mode here to the third one, where the radius will also be affected by my pen pressure. So I'll pick that. So now if I draw, I can I can make whatever I draw sort of come off to a point. If I turn on SETI stroke, it might be a little easier. It's going to take a little practice to get it just right, but I'll pick the very first alpha. I'll maybe lower the strength a little bit. Now unfortunately I just noticed those are actually being applied to the other side as well because of our instancing. So we actually don't want the other fins to be instances anymore since we already know that their placement is exactly where we want them. So if we go to the instancer tool we can do uninstance all and it will make all of the uh, fins now no longer instances. So now what I sculpt on one will not be sculpted on the other. So I can have asymmetrical detail again. All right. So now it's time for us to move on to the teeth. Make them look more like actual teeth. So I'll go to my teeth, which are, there they are, and I'm going to increase the resolution on these guys. And what I'll do is with a square alpha, I'll just, and with the second stroke mode, Actually, I'm going to go with the third alpha and sort of cut some some grooves into it. Now, if you don't want to hold down control while you're doing this, you can also just click on invert tool up near the top. And then without holding control, the brush will actually sculpt down rather than up. Excellent. So now we are just about ready to go on to the fine detail phase.